Well, I, I, I think he was actually um, maybe a better puck mover than in small areas than, than I anticipated. Um, I'm thinking more about the size, the mobility, ability to close plays, get his shot through in the offensive blue line. But he made a lot of small area plays on the breakout that's going to benefit this hockey club. Um, escape moves where he puts someone on his, his hip strong enough to separate and hold on to a puck and bring another four checker to him and then bump it into the middle. He, made, he, he led some really nice breakouts tonight. Uh, did a real good job with that. So that's a, maybe things you see, but you don't appreciate till they're right in front of you. Um, and, and that's a part where, you know, the argument about adding, you know, D versus forwards, when you get a, a defenseman like that can start the attack, that's going to generate more offense for your team automatically. So uh, that was a pleasant, I don't want, again, I don't want to use the word surprise, but something that, you know, kind of jumped off the page for me tonight besides his, you know, ability to defend. Yeah, good legs. He had good legs in Montreal. Um, when Eric's skating, that's when he's at his most effective. Um, and, and between those guys, you have to skate to keep up, but you also have to skate to reload if plays don't work out. And he's, you know, he's kind of bought into last goal is a great example. He's working his way out of the zone, knowing that you know there's a rush maybe coming back at us, stops on a puck, and and not, now we're we're on offense again. Nice play in front of the net, uh, create a second chance, which you have to against a school tender. Uh, but yes, I think he's at his best when he's skating. And listen, uh, guys go through stretches where they're feeling it. He's feeling it right now. Coach, you've uh, broken up the perfection line in the past. Why do you think it's worked better this time around? You playing six to eight hockey since you did it. And Halla and Hall, they've had more life now. Why do you think it's worked better this time as opposed to other times? Well, this is definitely the longest we, we've kept uh, kept them apart. Some of that, you know, Marsh has been out, berge has been out. Um, I think it's worked because some of the other guys where they were outside of that line were not um, probably playing to their capabilities or meshing with who they were with. So whereas years past, some of them weren't here. So we had other lines I thought were Maybe years ago, like the Crutchy to Brust combination was pretty good for us when they started. And then Coyle, Johansson, Heinen had a good run in the play. So there's the other guys, uh, it wasn't working for whatever reason. Um, and then when we split it, it just seemed to fall into place for the other guys besides Berge, Marsh, and Pasta. Uh, started working for Hall again. Um, and he had good chemistry with Crutchy last year in Smith. but. Crutch isn't here, so he didn't have the same chemistry with Coyle. And then Halla didn't have the same chemistry where he was, so it just sort of fell into place. So it's a little bit of what we had in the past worked better than what we started with this year. Um, and that's probably the, the, the sum of it, uh, other than we didn't stick with it as long in the past for as, as many games as we have this year. Thank you. Played well again. Well, I felt we controlled the game up in Tampa pretty well. Even the game I was, again, I wasn't in the building live, but I thought the team played very well when we lost here at home. Um, and there's different circumstances for that. Sometimes you catch a team at a, but three times now is, is going to give us confidence. On the flip side, this is a two-time defending Stanley Cup champions. And so we're excited we won and played well, but you know we're not getting ahead of ourselves either here, Steve. We know who Tampa Bay is. Uh, they know who they are. And the road runs through them eventually. So, but this is good. It's good for the guys in the room to know that if we play a certain way, then we'll, we have a chance to beat them and, and can outplay them in certain areas. So uh, that's the positive of that. And, and you should be confident when you beat a really good team. Uh, I'm not taking that away from our group, but I, I'm, I'm not going to sort of – I'll never get down on Tampa. They're too good a hockey club. Uh, they've accomplished too much. So, but good for us, positives for us. Well, I thought they were they were pretty good, uh, Fluto. I'll have to look at it tighter in terms of switches, uh, uh, how they hand it off in, in D zone coverage, et cetera, our system versus um, 
what Tampa does. They try to spread you out, Tampa. I think we, we did a good job with that for the most part tonight. Our, our The chances they got were a little bit of breakdowns in coverage. Um, you know, we lost a couple assignments along the way tonight to get, they got in behind us, shorthanded goal. Um, so it sure looked good from the bench, but until you comb through it, uh, to see if there was issues about uh, being out of position. And you, I can't give you an exact answer, but from the eye test, I thought they were really good together. And, you know, and, and mostly because, you know why? Because they broke the puck out, so they didn't have to spend a lot of time in their end. So they're, they're playing on the fun side of it, so to speak. So. Uh, not a lot to worry about there tonight, not in those situations.